Mark, get ready, sit, go. Start. Kelly's here. Wow. Zelda's here. Perfect. Gaming. That's amazing. Welcome, everyone, to a new series called Beyond a Steel Sky, starring Kelly and Zelle. That's right, and me, Zelle. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a new series called Beyond a Steel Sky. This is a sequel to Beneath a Steel Sky. The original game took place in the early 2000s uh, for the computers originally, and it was based off a dystopian future that takes place in Australia. And the one prior took place in the wilds where our main character, Robert Foster, was uh, then brought to the city, the Union City afterwards, and that's where this one takes place going forward. But essentially, there's a lot of political wars going on, dystopian future, uh, wars broken out. We're just trying to scavenge and just trying to survive and trying to help all people where we can along the way, too. So this is a point-and-click point adventure game. And with that being said, I'll be commenting for the most part, and Kelly will be playing through the game. Yep, I'll be playing and doing the best I can with my abilities. You got it. So we, we'll probably make some good choices, probably some bad choices, but they'll be interesting choices nonetheless. Yes. So with that being said, let's get started with the new game. Let's get started. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Milo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Mm -hmm. Nice work, <laughs> Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy. And the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Molo! Dad! What are they? Max! <laughs> Drop him, you... <clears throat> Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. 
determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Okay. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. Hmm. Hey, all right. L to move, R to look around. All right, so the main man we are playing is Robert Foster, and he's looking to, well, Trying to find Milo, rescue Milo, it looks like. And I believe the place we're called in right now is the Gap, and we're just trying to uh, gather more information about what the situation is, because I'm not really sure. It sounds like the inner city itself is uh, kind of for like elitists or maybe like a residence, and this is kind of just for the girl was holding a slums. device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah! Ah! ah, no! Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. Objects that Foster can interact with are highlighted with the reticule. Is that how you say that word? Yeah, you said it right. To Turn interact right. with an object, first center your screen on and move towards it. Hmm, okay. So let's we have the body there and there's something else to the left of that too. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. They're big birds, actually, too. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. <laughs> mm, tasty. Oh, we have a crowbar, we okay. We have a crowbar. Or it looks like pie? We have pie. Uh. Yeah, okay. Who doesn't love pie? Everybody loves pie. 
especially freshly baked pie. Examine. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> and she's fast. Tracking her down. Union City. I was back. Oh. Looks like a smoke sack city. <laughs> oh, there's a giant wall around it. I didn't even see the wall. Yeah, it's so funny that over that one hill, we now see a whole city. <laughs> That's just apparently behind just that one One hill. hill. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, there's a city here. Right. Right, all right. Well, you used the pie. We were able to examine the body, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we now have to follow her, so we, uh... Yeah. Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome, one and all. Come see what we have to show you on... Display. Uh oh, what oh, jeez? Hmm. Oh. Halt. Who goes there? Robert Foster. Welcome, unregistered Gaplander. Gaplander. Oh. <laughs> Hi. And you are? Community welfare droid to see you at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. <laughs> um. Oh, it looks like we have options to choose from. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. <laughs> Cool. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a gap lander like you. <laughs> I bet. And what is it you do? I tell gap landers like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Wow, we're getting really far with her. I know, this right? robot, I I'm say. looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. <laughs> right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration <laughs> terminal. It's right over there. <laughs> God. Okay. Then. Oh my goodness. Just tell us about registration. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. Ooh, Minos. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Hmm. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no you chip no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. No. No. I, I gotta have the bag of chips. Well, I think we're done here. The U chips? Or maybe. How do I get to immigration? The terminal is at the wall end of the garden. Oh. The correct route is indicated by these signs. <laughs> as soon as you've registered, you can access the Minos devices. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay. Going now. <laughs> About time too. I know wow. we're so chatty. We a what a great robot you are! So helpful. So helpful indeed. Wow. Okay. So we need to have this U chip to. There was a strange smell. I uh, do you think Milo's? Looks like. There's a bunch of birds here. 
Murder of gang gangs. I reminded myself of the collective noun. A murder of gang gangs. God, that sounds... weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. Okay, then. I mean, they're the size of, like, a dog. They're huge birds compared to, like, normal birds. <laughs> the, the guy giant looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it, too. <laughs> nice. Nice. A little bit more leather smell, a little bit more dead skin smell. Love it. Excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. Well now, Joe. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cowpat, not a whole lot. So you're trying mm. to get in the city? Ups a blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. <laughs> there was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours. Turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini gears cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the air con, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 <laughs> volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice until they send someone out to juice up Bruce's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Hmm. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is... W? Well, some of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So, your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it, I'm full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? <laughs> Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. <laughs> Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Okay then. I'll let Jake pull. The doors, they're locked I'll shut. Jake pull. Not locked. Jammed. Mm. Jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. <laughs> so how can I get in? <laughs> Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. First off, give the bumper a good wallop. I feel like then, do a little <laughs> This is very Aye, a jig. Then pull the door hard. Pretty technical, huh? Have to move with the times, pal. I'd say. Good seeing you. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Wallop, jig, play. Pull, pull. hard. <laughs> oh my god, these birds. They're so. I just can't get over how big the birds are. This is nuts. Oh. Broken and bullard. I called upon my extensive background in engineering. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, hey, it's working! Hey, we fixed it! He kicked it. Yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> Dude, camps are sure he's shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? Hmm. I don't know. What about Joey? Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where I don't thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. <laughs> it depends. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous, firm, resolute, moral, magnanimous, proactive. And a friend to all citizens alike. Hmm. Does that sound like your Joey? Hmm. 
My Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the... But he was my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's going with Wendell's power cell. Yeah. It's in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on my list. Wow. Mm. Really? So what's your deal, Hobbsworth? I am a diagnostician for the Ministry of Comfort. And what exactly does a diagnostician <laughs> do? <laughs> find problems. And fix them? Ministry of Comfort? Uh, no, I just diagnose them. Minos fixes them. Ah. Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh no. He was kidnapped. Snatched from his village. And brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, no. I, I haven't seen <laughs> something like that. Sorry. God, awkward to touch you, huh? I've got him mm -hmm. to work. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't have anything else to say. Just move on without me. Hobbsworth. Hobbsworth. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. Oh, that's right. We need to get registered first. Did we see? Yo, I think over by that thing where it has a bunch of signs. Go to the right. Go to that. Go to the right. Right here. No, go to the right. The right. I think that thing right there is that not the registration? This thing over here. It's got a clown face on it. Looks like to the left. This thing. Yeah. Oh, it's a vending, vending machine. machine. Terminal. Terminal. It's terminal. terminal Turn the terminal. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, maybe you were right. Let me. Let's go back to that spot you were talking about before. Hmm. Murder of gang gangs. That's funny. That's the help desk. I'm gonna try back here, cause she said it was kind of like by a garden area. So yeah, it's kind of gardeny. They made it seem like it. Oh, hand device. Hand device. Door, Door controls. controls. I guess this was the immigration terminal. Oh, okay. So we found it. We found it. Uh. So I think you have to use it. I think you you tapped it. You want to use. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U chip implant. God, painful. It's gonna hurt. U <laughs> chip implant successful. You are now Wait. registered with Union City. A U chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. <laughs> I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. <laughs> he was taking a photo. He's like when kids get like their shots at doctors. Authorized citizen ID required. It distracted his attention while I embedded the chip in his hand. Yeah, it's like. And that, it took its photo. Let me take a picture of you while I just put this thing in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's really what's going to be in the future, though, too. I imagine for, like, medical stuff, it will probably be embedded in us. And, oh, yeah, for uh, sure. Going forward, you know, which will be pretty neat. Just so you don't have to like, carry around an external um, device or whatever the case is. It's already been in plenty of movies where they have, like, a chip in your hand. That's true. Yeah. Just be a clone. Error. Insufficient permission. Ooh. Citizen ID required. Okay. I thought we were registered. I guess not. Well, time to see the help desk can help. Ooh, that's a cool outfit. Does she do anything? A hologram. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Welcome to Union City. My name is Greta. It is my duty and pleasure to answer any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. I don't think it's How Greta. I help you today? It should be Greta. This U-chip thing, what does it do? It allows you to interact with all the Minos devices in the area, as well as storing all your personal information. Hmm. Nice. Sounds kind of invasive. Nice. Yeah. We prefer the word transformative, sir. That's right. So is Joey still running things around here? He was, until just a few years ago. That doesn't sound good. Hope he didn't screw things up. Not at all, sir. Joey the Savior was a great leader. <laughs> Citizen happiness reached unprecedented levels. Good to hear it. I happen to be an old friend of his. 
Oh, we're all friends of Joey, sir. Gone, but not. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. I do worship vehicle. the friend, Joey. Has anything come through here? No. You haven't seen a weird vehicle with legs instead of wheels? Polite apology. I cannot discuss the details of other visitors' vehicular movements. Oh. This vehicle, it kidnapped a child. Is there anything else I can help you with today? That's what she sounds like. Have a nice day. <laughs> In Newton City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Super helpful. Super nice lady. You know. So what does these terminals do over here, then? Let's check them out. I think it has a lock on it still, but try it. Oh, there we go. Ah, Minos, here we go. Connecting to Minos. Welcome to Minos. I am Minos. A civic guide? Uh-huh. Oh. Helping you strive every day in every way. Here at the Aspiration Ministry, we believe that every citizen has not just a right, but a duty to strive towards reaching the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was expecting the top, not the, the bottom. bottom of the barrel. Let's go <laughs> to, strip the bottom. To that end, we'll advise, help support your journey to achieve your Union City goals. <laughs> Key to this is our world famous Kodos system. Yeah, I would say like Kudos, yeah. Kudos. Or Kudos or something system of rewards guaranteeing that every time you contribute to Union City that moment is logged in and appreciated and reflected in your kudos I'm just going to say kudos I think kudos sounds better, yeah statement and value all you have to do is aspire aspire to be the bottom oh, there's different ones so let's see, so we have Ministry of Well-Being what was the first one? can you go back? I'm trying um Civic guy. Ministry of Aspiration. Mm -hmm. That's Ministry of Well Being. Okay. We understand that being a good citizen and striving always for the best can sometimes come at a cost to health and well being. That's why we're always here to engage with you, understanding and supporting your work, your relationship, your ambitions, your whole life. There is no problem so great that it cannot be soothed away with one of our unique, ta tailored reflection spa programs. Ooh. Choose from an hour, a day, or even a week. Whatever it takes, nothing matters more to us than your well-being. Okay. This one is Ministry of Safety, protecting you from cradle to grave. Here at the Ministry of Safety, we know that security is every citizen's birthright. From the day that the council took over, your safeguarding has been our priority. We live in a dangerous world beyond our great city walls. The gap is living testimony to what happens when society lacks protection. Crime is rampant out there, disorder, theft, violence, murder are everyday occurrences. I don't agree. Meanwhile, <laughs> cities such as Hobart ride through roughshod over cowering communities, ignoring the rule of law, and accepted civilized behavior. Fortunately, here in Union City, our security services are alert to even the tiniest infractions, nipping antisocial behavior in the bud and illumining the cancer of misbehavior before it has a chance to flourish. Rest assured, our city walls are unbreachable, our police uncorruptible, and our duty to protect you all in... all is... Sacrosant? Yeah, sacrosant, I think. That's a weird word. So, overall, Ministry of Safety is just justice, or just like an enforcement group, it looks like. I don't like the Ministry of Safety. It sounds strict, so... Very yeah. strict. <laughs> Does not sound cool. Uh, giving what you want, then when you want it. <laughs> okay. The Ministry Here, of Plenty. Oh, here at the Plenty Ministry, we know that in a busy world, you expect to have your needs and desires fulfilled. On demand. You spend a lifetime striving, the last thing you want to do is spend a lifetime waiting to be rewarded. That's why we are committed to an instant supply line and it's a policy of ultimate fulfillment. Since the, the council took over running the city, we have broker deals with suppliers across the continent to ensure that every product is the best available and every product will arrive on time in perfect condition. Whether you are upgrading to a new apartment, configure a new generation DRYD, or just ordering tonight's easy all-you-can-eat sofa buffet, you can be assured one of our 101% ultimate guarantee of quality, quantity, and super service. Remember, you're, you're, if you're eating it, plenty put it there wait what remember if you're eating it 
why they put it there. I don't understand that, but it sounds like they just are very greedy and Min- love to eat. Ministry of Comfort. Smoothing away life's sharp edges before you even know they're there. Here at the Comfort Ministry, we keep a low profile. We like to think of ourselves as your unseen servant, delivering your personalized environment preferences wherever you go, cooling, warming, showering, washing, cleaning, fixing, powering, polishing, just the way you want it. Woo! <laughs> what about those foot rubs, man? Where are those at? Hmm? I know, right? Our army of <laughs> superbly programmed and maintained DR... R... R... D's? Yeah, RYDs. RYDs. Ensure that every citizen, no matter how low or high they are, receives the comfort they deserve. Although, of course, the more kudos you have, the more comfy you're going to be. That's just the way... That's just Union City way. The Ministry of Comfort, we put the comfort in comfortable. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right, so... We learned a lot from that. Got some different sectors, some different groups here. Uh, that we could probably be a part of. We might have to choose which ones to support maybe later on, I'm guessing. I like the we aspiration the and well-being one so far, if anything. Yeah? Yeah. I can't really decide on one yet. I I want to see more about each one. Grabbit's Independent something. Grabbit's Independent Traders. Oh, that's what it says. Some sketchier places out in the gap. <laughs> Make sure the <laughs> bench have been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over reliant on some old deflated tires. Hmm. You can say that again. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Although apparently tires last for a fairly long time when oh, you use pretty good. Girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Hey. She is. Yo, what up? Hey, excuse me. Hello? You Me what? <laughs> You're the guy in the desert. No kidding. You're the girl with the corpse. Woo! First of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my date. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. Oh. Huh. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deet, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now excuse me. What's a deet? My deet, man. DTT. <laughs> Data transfer tool. Deet. Ooh. What's the deed for? Duh, transferring data. <laughs> That's what I was doing with that dead <laughs> fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? Oh. He struck me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. <laughs> Big Who's Steve. Big Steve? <laughs> you see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. <laughs> the purple one, huh? Tell me about huh. this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did until Big Steve grabbed it. Deet. Got the deet to the land. I'm looking for a boy named Milo who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. What do you <laughs> trade? Like I said. Sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. <laughs> Do you get that picture? It doesn't very often since inside's got like everything and free. But it yeah. Happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my date, that is. Ah. That's awkward. Oh, that's right. That's just the vehicle. Anytime. You wouldn't know anything about it. Oh, wait. No. Come back if you want to talk business. <laughs> For some wow. Business interest in dead bodies. She seemed pretty normal. Hmm. And fairly young for someone with an interest like this. But it's pretty cool, nonetheless. Nothing against it. A sand, oh, a sand pit. pit. In the desert. The irony sure wasn't lost on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I just realized there's like no grass here. There's just literally sand and dirt. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hand it to the humor in this is pretty good so far. I like it. Yeah, I'm just like, I keep expecting it to be like different kinds of uh, dialogue. It was mm. a tire or modern art. I couldn't tell which. Yeah, because apparently the first one, I believe, had a little bit more of a serious tone to it, but this one's a little bit more, I think, a little bit more reserved, held back, and just uh, a little bit more joyful. Far more affluent than it was ten years ago. So, I have no idea how we're supposed to get across the bridge, but apparently we don't have a high enough ranking citizen ID to get across. Hmm. Well, is there... Let's just keep visiting stuff we haven't visited before, I suppose. Are they all these terminals different? I'm going to find it out. It well looks like trash. A statue. For Joey. It was a statue of my friend Joey. Oh. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. If Milo had been taken this way, I was sure Joey would help me find him. I needed to find someone around here who'd seen the stalker. That's right. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City Fact File. The Union City walls were forged in 1994 by a small team of resilient workers. A common misconception is that the team was formed of Australian citizens. This couldn't be further from the truth. The city wall was constructed using British steel imported, along with workers, from Hull in the United Kingdom. Many hmm. of the citizens of Union City can trace their ancestry back to that small and very dedicated group of immigrants. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. <laughs> Ministry of Comfort. Thanks for letting us know. Come on, relax, chill, take a break, go to comfort. Oh, another terminal. Old terminal. I hadn't seen one of these terminals in ten years. Link. The evil behind everything that happened all those years ago. The attack on my village. The death of my mother. Oh. Now we're getting some lore. Nothing happened. Probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe we'll talk to one more person and then wrap it up here. Gap kid. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. <laughs> My name's not weird guy. <laughs> Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. <laughs> it does. I'm Foster. <laughs> I'll remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Oh, that ouch. Oh. Wow. Burn. He's <laughs> Burn. You're old, like story. a fossil. Well, I'm eight years old, and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math, and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. Jeez. I can help you with <laughs> Did a vehicle come through here? Oh. Maybe. How recently is recently? Like. Two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Vauxhall, he saw this giant monster. What mm. kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Vauxhall says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, mm. which is it? Mm. I don't know what to believe. <laughs> <laughs> You're a kid. <laughs> Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real Aww. question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Hmm. Don't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nah, -uh. you got to earn that information. I don't know oh. if I can trust you right now. <laughs> Ooh. What's wrong with the okay. roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobbsworth put a chain on it. 
He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Voxel, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? Yeah. We had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, <laughs> Where was Where? That animation. Right. So, later at night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. <laughs> That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This vehicle, it had legs instead of wheels. Vehicles don't have legs, though. This one did. Your brother saw a monster, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that it was a giant daddy long legs. <laughs> no. Uh. Your brother's monster was actually <laughs> a very small daddy long legs, but very close to him. <laughs> no. I caught a daddy long legs once. What was your question? <laughs> oh, God, is this how kids act? Oh, my goodness. We Bye. See ya. If it's super helpful. Oh, okay. Pixel. I think we'll end it there. <laughs> okay. All right. So, hey, thank you guys for joining us on the first one here. This is a first glimpse into Beyond a Steel Sky. So, we've entered the city right now as Robert Foster. We're looking for Milo. And we're trying to understand really what's going on and how to navigate this while we reach and find Joey as well. Uh, yeah. So, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we'll see you next time. My name is Zelly. And I'm Kelly. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Bye! Woo!